Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my Silparak Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to create custom lightning web component and also we have seen how to deploy it on R. In this video, we will see how to delete custom lightning web component. It is very simple process. We have to follow some steps. So see, here I have logged in in Salesforce developer org. Now see, I will click on app launcher. We will go to service app. Here you can see this is lightning web component that we have created. Now see, we will go to edit page. So see, lightning app builder is open, right? Here you can see these are the standard lightning web components. And this is our custom lightning web component, right? Now see, this is our service app, right? Suppose I want to delete this component from this service app. So see, here I have option delete. So see, over this component on top right, there is one button for delete. So see, by this, I can delete component from the service app, right? I am deleting component from the service app. But still, this component is present in lightning app builder, right? See, I have deleted from the service app, right? See, if I click on save. Now see, we will click on back button. Now see, this component is deleted from the service app, right? From this service app, what are the component that we have deployed? It is deleted. But we want to delete it from the lightning app builder page. So how to delete it? See, again, we will go to edit page. This is lightning app builder page. See, this component is deleted from the service app. But here you can see, this component is still present in lightning app builder, right? Now how to delete it? So see. What we have to do, we have to go to developer console. See, I am going to developer console. Here, we have to click on query editor. And here, we have to write one query. So, see, select ID developer name from lightning component bundle. So, see, this is object lightning component bundle. So, all custom components will be present here. So, see, we have to write query select ID developer name form lightning component bundle then next important step in the bottom we have one checkbox see use tooling api in the bottom we have one checkbox use tooling api we have to select it right then when we click on execute we get all the custom components from this object lightning component bundle so see we have created one component with the name hello world right now see we want to delete it so see I am selecting this. Then here we have one option. Delete row. Click on delete row. Okay. It is asking delete one rows from lightning component bundle. Yes. Okay. So see this row is deleted. Right. Okay. Now see. We will close it. I am refreshing this page. We will go to edit page. Now we will check. So see, there is no components available, right? So whatever the custom component, whatever the custom lightning component that we have deployed on our R, so it is deleted, right? So in this way, we can delete custom lightning web component which we have deployed onto the R. We have to follow this step. We have to go to developer console. Then we have to click on query editor. Then we have to fire this query. Select ID developer name from lightning component bundle. Most important step, we have to select checkbox use tooling API. Then we have to click on execute button. After that, we will get our custom components. We have to select it and we have to click on delete row button. So by that, our custom lightning web component will get deleted. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.